Hello students. In previous few sessions, we have discussed about Python basics. In Python basics, we have learned so many things like data type, variables, constant, as well as we have learned some keywords which is used which can be used in Python. So Python basically it's a programming language and used for developing some programs so you must be eager to develop your own program is it so today i am telling you or we are going to learn about python programming so in this chapter what we are learning what we will learn we will learn understand the python interface first of all we will understand the python interface write and compile our own program my first program or how to analyze a problem and create its solution of course we have to go on through input process output so how we will do that how will you do that i will explain you in the next few slides okay so let's start I want to tell you how to write a program in Python. So for, for that we have to move into Python window. So we are going into Python window. Okay. So we'll see Python window here. Now you can see the Python screen. and our topic okay now how this python window you can get on your screen for that you have to click on a start menu and then type ideally or the python whatever you want you can type python also and you will get ideally integrated development learning environment whenever you click here you will get python window so this is our first console let me introduce you about this console window of python so this is the menu bar as you know this is menu bar it's a control box from here you can uh, minimize maximize and close this window okay now this the file menu edit menu cell win this is these are all menu options there is a options called configure ideally from configuration you can change the font size color scheme okay so these things you can apply here i am leaving it because i have already raised the font size to 18 so you can uh, in your window you can increase the font size or configure your python ideally according to your choice okay now this python will be work will work in two mode one is the interactive mode interactive mode means suppose i have written 6 plus 8 you will get 14 so it just working interactively means you are giving one action to it and it is returning the answers for that particular action suppose i have given 9 into 3 what will you get 27 of course so it will give you 27 so it is just working interactively means you are giving a command and it is returning you are giving a command and it is returning the answer okay so writing and compiling you learn the basics about the python language now to create and run the python program you need to do the following steps so we have done these steps we have opened the ideally using a start button Whenever you click on the start button in Windows 10, it's like this. And in Windows 7 and above, uh, below, it is like this. So you can open this, choose Python ideally. Depending on the uh, different kind of versions, I have, my, my, my computer is having 3.9 version. You may have something else. Okay. So this is having 3.9 version, 64 bit. While, when the book was developed, it was 3.732 bit 
so the latest variations latest versions uh, introduced by python community and or the developer and we can use it the latest version so i have shown you that this console of python and there is a menu called file menu so now i am telling you about the interactive mode i told you now there is another mode that is called script mode what does it mean script mode so we can write the program in script mode. okay generally program is written in script mode so what is it actually the bunch of certain commands we will write in script mode so to do this when there are some bunch of commands there are four five commands and you want to give it at a once at once then how will you do that you have to move into file menu and then choose the option new file in new file you can write certain commands here okay what may be these commands suppose 4 plus 5 9 plus 10 6 into 3 just we are trying now file save as save as now i will save the file in remember the location basically it's uh, by default it's save but i am saving it in the user c colon users and then this here i am putting my program okay so sample one okay now you can see here on the header you are getting on the title bar you are getting sample one dot py what is this py py is the extension name as i told you it's a extension name py stands for python every every file in computer contains an extension name suppose uh, I have mistakenly written wrong spelling for sample, but uh, don't mind. Uh, we are we are doing it. Uh, we are discussing about the .py extension. So .py is an extension name for Python file. Okay. Now I want to execute this file. To execute this, either you can do in run menu. There is F5. Either you can just click here or you can press F5 function key on your keyboard. So I am just clicking from here. What is the result? Not getting any result. Because in script mode, what you have to do? You have to introduce one command. Uh, this will not work. So I have to write like this. Uh, just I am writing print statement print 4 plus 5 what is this print I will tell you just wait a minute 9 plus 10 and print I just want to show you the answer right now later I will tell you what is print so you are getting the result here so what you have seen when whenever we are working in interactive mode we don't need to give print statement and you are automatically getting the answer okay because it is interpreted uh, interpreter understood that i have to return the value whatever will be the result that is returned but in case of interactive mode uh, sorry script mode you have to mention what you want to do with these values whatever is generated through 4 plus 5 what do you want to do so i have to tell it that print on the screen so print statement is basically used to print whatever is written in this bracket on the screen okay so print is basically used to print the print the data on display unit display unit is uh, your monitor or your uh, laptop screen or your mobile screen whatever it may be okay now again come to our topic here so i told you how to save your file 
you have to go into file menu and then new option then you can save your file your file extension name will be dot py or it will be inserted automatically by the uh, computer system now <coughs> there are some small programs or first of all i want to create the first program creating your first program how will you create i want to print hello world i want to print hello world how will you do that simply i will go file and new file i am creating another program okay so just type print and then write hello world hello world but keep in mind what you have to do hello world will be written in double quotes okay so you must put this in double quotes now you may ask that now why we have put this double quotes these are data types when i discussed about the data type i told you alphabetically they, uh, whenever you write something that contains alphabets we have to mention that in double quotes and it is known as a string what is it it's a string so strings are always mentioned in double quotes is it okay so now i want to save this file what we, we, what i do, have to do i have to go into file menu and then save as and where i want to save i want to save in uh, users okay as earlier i saved in the user group so i want to save it in users c colon users and in users 91844 yeah here i will put sample 2 okay so my file name is sample 2 now when i execute this which key is used to execute this yes f function f5 is the function key which is used to introduce now i have pressed f5 and then you will get the message error hello world is it okay so now you have generated the first program you have created your first program as well as you executed and got the result clear so first program we have created and uh, now you you see here one thing is given here that is more important you have to see here uh, just just a minute see here what they have written they have written two statement one is the print hello world another one is the hash my first program what is this hash my first program we have not mentioned in our program we have not written it but our output is same as output given in this the output will be similar hello world we have got this output so you have noticed that we have written two statement but you got one line of output why so so this because this is a symbol which is used to make the statement as comment okay so here also we have made this statement and now i am writing hash my first program now i will execute again what happens let me check you will get the message hello world earlier also i got the message hello world now also i got the message hello world means there is no impact of this statement why it is not having any impact because we have placed a symbol hash and hash made it as a comment or remark and these comments and remarks are basically used by the programmer for their own reference to create awareness about your program into uh, to know about the program he or she will put a statement so that they can recognize what is this program what is the purpose of this program who created this program so all these things can be written with the help of hash symbol or you can say by making a comment okay is it clear so the same thing is written here this is because has symbol present 
that the first statement is remark or comment which is being ignored by the compiler to compile. So compiler ignore this symbol because uh, compiler see or the interpreter see that uh, interpreter saw that uh, there is hash symbol given here. So hash symbol means uh, I don't want to read this. So th that was understood by interpreter. Now the print statement. So I think uh, this is clear to everyone. Now understanding print statement or print method. So this function is basically used to print or display some message or the value whatever it may be so now they have written a simple program a is equal to 5 b is equal to 6 s is equal to a plus b so the value of s so it's a very simple program now we will prepare this program we will make this program file new now a is equal to suppose 9 b is equal to suppose 89 okay or let me give a small value so that you can easily uh, you, you can as easily calculate s is equal to a plus b what is plus here plus is an operator uh, 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 arithmetic operator okay so s is equal to a plus b so these are two values which are very predefined which are having pre-specified values so these are assignment operator a equal to 9 9 is assigned to a 8 is assigned to b now s is equal to a plus b so this a plus b will take place and assign to s now i want to print this value of s so i have to write print s now you may ask everything is written in capital letter but why you have written print in a small letter because python is a case sensitive language python is a case sensitive language what does it mean it means that whatever is written in a small and capital letters they are both treated differently and in python most of the keywords are written in small letters okay so keyword you remember those keywords which we have discussed in python basics recall that and then move forward now again i want to save my data my program c users users and then sample 3 sample 3 okay now i have saved i want to execute what i have to press f5 i have pressed f5 key and you got the result 17 is it okay so 17 will be the result of 8 or 9 17 8 and 9 17 so this will be the result so in this way you can develop many small programs some of the examples they have given here now try this example in your whatever is given in your book and then you can see there is some simple programs they have given like this one uh, write a program to display a message hello friends how are you simply you have to write print a statement and then pass this message okay now to find the area of a square if side of a square is 2 question number 2 is to find the area of a square if side of a square is 5 so side of the square is given here and to find the area of a square you know the formula what is the formula side into side so process is here side into side and output will be the area whatever you have calculated so to write this code side is equal to 5 area is equal to side into side print area of square is equal to area so this way you will get the area of a square in the similar way you can find the area of rectangle and many other programs you can do okay so that's all for today